1280 by 720. If I open this with QuickTime, you'll see we have our HD video. Okay, so there we go. That is job chaining. What job chaining does is help improve your workflow and it helps improve the time it's going to take to get things done. Major, major, major um, help, helpful thing there if you work on a lot of big jobs. <clears throat> now, let's talk about droplets. I have, this is a stock droplet, AIC HD 720p 24 YouTube. I just renamed it, okay? Um, you can go through here, and it, it's up here. Let's see if I can find it. HDV. Here we go. Under Apple Codex, here is Apple Intermediate Codec HD 720p24. As you can see, it's 1280 by 720. This is not going to give you the smallest file size in the world, but this is going to make a good example. Okay, so I'm going to use this Apple Intermediate Codec. Of course, you can go through and change and make your custom, your own custom um, settings like I have here. Here's a H.264 HD 1280 by 720. Okay, um, I've made that custom. So let's go back up here and find our stock codec here. Here's Apple Intermediate Codec. Say I want to make this easy accessible, okay? I know I'm going to be encoding a lot of videos to it. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to go up here and hit this middle button. And it's going to, it's called, this is your make selection of droplet button. When I hit that button, this little dialog box is going to come up. It's going to ask you what you want to call it, where you want it to be put at, and where the movies that get encoded want, where you want the movies that are encoded to go. Okay? So choose destination for droplet results. So this is where, right here, the movies are going to go that you fin that have finished encoding. And this right here, where, is where it's going to save your actual droplet to. So I'm going to save my actual droplet to my desktop, and I'm going to have the droplet results saved to my desktop as well. I'm going to say save. Okay, I'm going to go in here and quit compressor now. Because we ain't going to need it. Now, as you can see, what's happened here is if you look, I got this little symbol here. Apple Intermediate Codec HD 720p 24. Okay, as you notice, compressor is not open. So now I'm going to take my test movie, my original movie, which is right here, and I'm going to drag and drop it right on top of that droplet. As you can see, I have my droplets, which I have several of them, down here in my dock. All I have to do is drag my movie down to the emblem in the dock that I want to use. You can see I have an H.264 HD, an HDV H.264 HD, um, an HDV 1280 by 720, um, an H.264 with some filters applied, and my Apple Intermediate Codec. I have them down here in the dock. You don't have to keep them in the dock. You can keep them in your movies folder. I'm going to take my test 3 and just drag and drop it right on top of this droplet that we made. Now this little window comes up that says processing. It'll give you a time. Okay? Three, two, one, and we're ready. Then this other droplet box will come up. It'll if you have a cluster, you can choose a cluster. I have Eric Meeks Mac Pro cluster, but usually when I'm working with droplets, I'll just use this computer. You can use your cluster if you want to, there's no reason not to. Destination, this is where the destination of the encoded movie is gonna be. Okay. We don't want to worry about the template. And down here is our settings and all the information, and that's that. So the only thing you really need to do about this is set your cluster and set your destination for the file. And hit Submit. If I have Batch Monitor already open. If it isn't already open, it will open on its own, I think. And if it don't open on its own, if you hit Submit and it don't look like anything's happening, don't freak out. Something is happening. Give it time, and eventually your movie will get done encoding. You, can, you, you just need to be patient. I usually just have my Batch Monitor open and ready to go when I use my droplets. So I'll hit submit. There it goes. There's my movie. Automatically it fires it up. Here it is in my batch monitor. As you can see, it's encoding. I can actually close my batch monitor if I want. As you can see, compressor is closed. Compressor is not open. And our movie is done encoded. So it will enco a droplet will encode your movie without ever having to open um, compressor. So there's our movie. You can open it up with real player and we'll be able to see it as is. Pretty good looking film if you ask me. Pretty colorful, pretty saturated. Um, it looks great. Apple Intermediate Codec HD 720p is a wonderful looking codec, but the file sizes are quite big.
file sizes are quite big. If I encode the same movie into H.264, I'll drop that. I drop that movie onto my H.264 droplet that was in my dock, and I'm going to click OK, submit. And through the magic of movie making, I went ahead and encoded the H.264 and just edited it out. Here's our Apple Intermediate Codec. Here's our H.264. As you can see, the Apple Intermediate Codec is much more saturated. Look at the greens. You probably might not be able to tell it over YouTube, I'm not sure. But you can see how much lighter the H.264 looks compared to the Apple Intermediate Codec. Now I can get the same results with filters. I can apply some gamma correction and stuff inside compressor, which is why you've seen that droplet for H.264 with filters. It will give me this same output. Now the reason I like to use H.264, even though AIC looks better, is here is the 13 meg version of this movie for AIC and H.264 you can see is 8 meg so it's a lot smaller and this is the H.264 HDV uh, so if you can use the Apple Intermediate Codec version for some smaller videos great but if you need to keep it really really tight use H.264 so I hope this has explained droplets I hope this has maybe give you some information to speed up your workflow and compressor a little bit. I hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time.